Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Brent Venables and the Oklahoma Sooners do it again, landing a top 100 player nationally. Defense alignment Derek LeBlanc from Florida. This is what Brent Venables came in to do. There's been a lot of noise on the commits from the offensive side of the ball, but now he's starting to pick up some real playmakers on the defensive side of the ball. Before we get into the player, what it means for the program, just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. If you guys do like the content, you do like talking college football, consider subscribing. We appreciate the support, especially you Oklahoma Sooner fans. You guys have been absolutely awesome to the channel. We appreciate it. I love doing these videos about Oklahoma. Derek LeBlanc, the first thing that jumps out at you when you watch his game is just the sheer length. I mean, this dude is really, really big, but he is long. He's got some long arms. And when you think about how that translates to the college football level, to the NFL level, that's what everybody likes. If you can get your hands on people early and have powerful hands, that means a lot. And you look at what Brent Venables has done with those these type of guys, this is his kind of guy, a guy with heavy hands who's long and explosive. Think about guys he had at Clemson, Miles Murphy, Xavier Thomas, Colin Farrell. He loves that kind of player, and Derek LeBlanc is that kind of guy. Now, he's extremely explosive as well. He's going to come in at around 6'5", 270, 75 pounds. I'm interested to see what Brent Venables wants to do with him. I think he's certainly athletic enough to play like that five-tech outside of the tackle. But I also think he's got the power and the size to play inside more of that three-tech, kind of what Perry on Winfrey done for Oklahoma. I'm excited to see what Brent Venables does, but – there is not a guy that I trust more placing a defense alignment in his spot other than Brent Venables. That is what he does best. And John Walker, his teammate, actually just committed to UCF literally 30 minutes ago. And now Oklahoma picks up Derek LeBlanc. What we this one another thing I want to mention is Brent Venables is absolutely hammering the high school recruiting ranks. A lot of college teams are leaving a lot of scholarships on the table. For the transfer market, that's not what Brent Venables wants to do. That's not what Davos Sweeney did at Clemson. He wants to recruit guys that he likes, get them into the program, and develop them into NFL players, All-American college football players. And that's what he's doing. He's got, what, 18 commits now, I think 19 now with the addition to Derek LeBlanc in the 2023 class. He is really hammering the 2023 class and getting his guys into the program and again, if you guys are a friend of the channel, you know I am extremely, extremely high on Oklahoma, the head coach, in the direction of this program. I think you really can't think of a better guy to lead this Sooners program other than Brent Venables. And he's kind of, as they transition the SEC, they're bringing in some real playmakers on the defensive side of the ball that's going to help dealing with that physicality that the SEC brings. You have to recruit that level if you want to play in the SEC. And that's what Brent Venables is doing. Again, if you're one of the best athletes in the country, you want to go play for Brent Venables. The way he coaches, the way he develops, it's proven that he develops guys at a high level. He's also a high-energy guy. This guy cares about football. He cares about Oklahoma football so much. There's not a place better than Norman, Oklahoma, to go play football. And Brent Venables does it again and lands an absolute massive recruit. Oklahoma – you really can see them creeping into the top five 2023 class. And they're in there running for a couple more guys. And they're using pretty much all their scholarship guys, all their scholarship roster spots on the high school ranks. They want to get their guys. They want to get them into the program early. And they want to go develop those guys. Keep it short for you guys. I appreciate the support. Again, you guys, especially you Sooner fans, have been absolutely awesome. We appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good evening. And we'll talk.